Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review. This time on a Crelant V4A. So this is the box that it comes in. And I want to thank banggood.com for sending me this light. I'm going to go ahead and open up the box. user manual. We'll go into that in a little bit. Comes with a lanyard and an extra o-ring. And that's it. Very nice padding in there for safe shipping. Light comes in a bag like that. Now this runs on four AA batteries. Now I've already put batteries in it uh, to make sure it worked. And there's the reflector. Now this is a deep reflector. And I'll show you the machining on that up close. Very nice machining on this. Now this is running the XPL High by Cree. Very, very nice. And this is very affordable, which is nice. Now the battle is still going to be coming between the 4AA battle uh, flashlights. That's coming. I'm working on it now. So it will be coming very soon. We're going to go ahead and go into the user manual. And it's quite simple. Chinese on one side and English on the other. Now you cannot run 14500s in this at all. Run strictly AA. You can run alkaline or the rechargeable. And so we're going to go ahead and concentrate on that area there. Get my camera to focus and it just goes to show you that this has 1095 lumens on high waterproof rating IPX8 and 1.5 meters drop resistant so it's kind of nice straightforward package deal so now we're going to go ahead and take the light apart show you what's inside Now right away, um, I was noticing these. this is greased a little bit. There's not too much on there. So I'll be adding a little more on there to hopefully help with the switch part that's built into the tail. So I'm going to go ahead and take the batteries that I'm running here are the Westinghouse 2000 milliamps. And I've been getting real good about 2100 milliamps out of these. So it's been really good. So there's no complaints. I recommend these if you can get these. These are relatively cheap. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the tail cap. And this is a spinning type. And these are very heavy duty springs for just AA batteries. Okay. You can sort of see down in that barrel and it's the same thing as the tail cap. So we're going to go ahead and this has a unique feature where the tail pins actually grab onto it like a hook style and then stop the, the rotating of the head or the tail cap to the body. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put the batteries in the light.
All right. Now, the unique feature on this light is that the tail cap can be used as a switch also to turn it on and off and go through the high and low. So if you turn it to the left, turn it to the right, it comes on and go through the modes like that, on and off, on and off. Okay, And just make sure you have it tightened enough where you don't see that rubber seal, the o-ring, too much. Once you get it about right there, you can turn it on and turn it off. So you're not going to tighten this all the way down. If you do tighten it all the way down, you lose that tail switch. I'm not going to use it, so I'm going to go ahead and screw it all the way down and just go ahead and turn the light off. Okay? And that's basically the unique feature of that tail cap. Okay? So now we're going to go ahead and go into the user interface. Okay. So we're going to go ahead, quick click, and if you see that, it goes high, low, and then off. High, low, then off. High, low, then off. So now, what I like about this is that you can double click and get to the strobe. Double click again, get you SOS, and then you go back to the regular UI. And that's it. Okay, now you saw the easy UI. Now this also has an infinite adjustment where you can lower it gradually until you like the output level that you need. So basically you're going to turn that on, pressing and holding that button until you get to the desired level that you want. And it's slow, but it does real well. That lets you know that it's the highest level when it blinks like that. Now when you want to go back down, you can slowly go back down. And you can pick any output you want in this output. And once it releases to the, the bottom one, it'll start going back up. When it gets to the highest level, it'll blink. It lets you know that it's already gone through all the levels of the output. So now I'm gonna take it and go way down and say like I wanna go to about right here. Now you can hold it at that output. So you've got a lot more variables in the output that you can choose from doing it that way. Or you can simply use the mode with high and low for the easiest, quickest access. Now this does take longer to adjust the light, but I like having more variables in my light output on all my lights. And you can slowly go ahead and turn that off. We're gonna go through the variable again. we to slowly go up. Oh, I didn't finish going down. So now we're gonna go back up. And it starts going back up slowly. Now once it reaches its highest output, it'll flash just like that. And that is really bright for double A's. That's this is this is just a really nice focused beam pattern with a very nice spill on that. So I think this is gonna do a lot better showing the justice. Um, you know, doing the easy outputs. I think I'm going to do the variable outside. Let's take this outside into the wilderness, see how it does. And we are out here with the Krellet. And we're going to go ahead and turn it on. I have it programmed to the outputs I want. That is the highest setting. 1095 lumens. I'm going to hold it up above my shoulders here. Clearly see across the park. And remember, this is only four double A's. Look at that. Usually making it across the park. 
Look at the range on that. That's just crazy. Doing really, really good. Usually making the trees across the park. The tree of life. It's making the school. Check for the palm trees. Look at that. It is making the palm trees. That's, that's incredible. This has got some excellent throw. Look at this. Look at this. Just incredible light output. Crazy bright. Incredible. Twenty-five feet out. We're gonna go to the next level output, which is the lowest one that I have programmed. Okay. And it's still got some really good range on this. Look at that. All right. Now I'm going to go and use the infinite control on this UI. And we're going to slowly go up. Or slowly go down. Now we're going to slowly go up. Takes a second. And we'll flash. And there's the highest output. Amazing light output and performance on this. Okay. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Well, I hope you enjoyed those night shots because this thing performed outstanding. Uh, the machining on this is a very nice stainless steel bezel. Uh, it's just got a nice design. I like it. Um, I'm really liking these four AA models more and more. Um, I'm bringing a battle soon. Um, I really want to thank Banggood.com again for sending me this light. This will be included. This has proven itself that it's worthy of the battle. And it's not only that, but it's very affordable. And just up on screen now, you're going to see right about right there, you're going to see my discount code. Go ahead and use that to pick this up. It's going to save you some money, and this is really affordable, and this is a really great performer. It's got a good spot. It's got a lot of beam distance on this thing. I, I'm just really impressed. This is an all-around great light, everyday carry, if you want to call it. Um, this is definitely uh, stand. Uh, this is definitely stands out. Um, I'm really liking it. I like the color as well. Um, I'm giving this a perfect 10. Uh, it deserves it. There's no, there's no flaws in this light. Um, and it did well. It's got a nice feature on the tail cap. I like it. It works well for me. And everything lines up. It's, it's, the sample I have here is perfect. So I just want to thank again Banggood.com for sending me this for review. So that's basically it on this light. I hope you enjoyed this video and the night shots and everything about it. And uh, please share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching. Take care.